What's going on guys? Welcome to the video. There is something that I need to show y'all. Fuck, where did I put it? It might be down in the car. And now I can't find my car. Isn't that the worst when you just completely forget which level that you're parked on? I officially cannot find the Volkswagen Jetta. So I'm gonna do something I promised never to do. I'm gonna click the panic button. Yo, that's not a Jetta. That's not a Jetta. That's a fresh Audi. Yo, what? What's going on, man? I'm just fucking with you guys. If you saw last Thursday's video, you know that me and Julia went to the Audi dealership. We test drove an A4, that A4, and after we left, I just couldn't get it out of my head. So last night, we went back and we bought the damn thing. It is an Audi A4 Premium Plus, top of the line, Quattro, 2017, it is used, only 9,000 miles on it though. They also gave us an amazing trade-in value for the Volkswagen Jetta. I'm just, I'm so excited guys. Like this has legitimately been my dream car. I've always wanted to drive a fresh black Audi A4 and we're doing it today. We're fucking doing it, bro. There is something that I was trying to show you at the beginning of the video. They didn't just give me the car. They gave me this fresh Audi snapback hat so that I can keep it Audi fresh all the time. That all being said, I got an amazing day planned today. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. All right guys, so we're driving to the gym to get a morning workout in. Hey guys, what's up? And personally, I hate morning workouts. I just feel weaker in the morning. I sometimes get nauseous during my workouts, but I got an appointment later today to get my testosterone checked. So I don't really have a choice. Like it's either now or never. And it's always better to get a workout in than to just take the day off. Guys, one thing that's important if you work out in the morning before eating anything is you wanna make sure you have BCAAs before your workout because if not, it can hinder your ability to build muscle because it can lower your muscle protein synthesis. That's why I like taking bulk. I tell you guys about this pre-workout all the time, but it's one of the only pre-workouts I've ever seen that actually has BCAAs inside of it. As always, if you wanna try it out, you can use my coupon code to get a nice discount. Right now, I'm having the green apple flavor and it's just, fucking delicious bro so today's gonna be a full body workout like always we're gonna get started with barbell rows one of the best exercises to build that back thickness so if y'all are ready let's get started Find me in the corner Guys, what I just did is I put this car in sports mode because I want Julia to feel the raw acceleration on this bitch. Ready? I'm ready. Hit the gas. Pour, flat out to the metal. <laughs> all the way. It's all the way down. How's that feel? <laughs> woo, woo. All right, guys, for breakfast, we're at this spot called Taco Deli. I'm a little bit pissed off, I'm not gonna lie. They finished serving breakfast tacos. What type of taco shop? Stop serving breakfast tacos. That's the best tacos. So I got regular tacos. I'm not sure what the tacos are called, but I got one with steak and two with pork. Plus we got guacamole. I'm actually cutting now. We're going to Cancun in a month for New Year's and I need to be shredded, brah. So my cut and diet, I've told y'all before, but I feel like nobody remembers anything on YouTube. I eat basically a big breakfast, a big dinner, and then for lunch I just have a protein shake. And that's good for me. So we're gonna put a little habanero on this. Oh, a lot of habanero on this. 
and let's give this a shot. Damn, bro. That was probably a 9 out of 10. I actually think this is the banh mi one based on the Vietnamese sandwich. That's good. All those tacos are actually pretty fucking good. What do you think? Yeah, they didn't need to be breakfast tacos, David. They did need to be. <laughs> hey guys, I'm so excited just to go back. My voice just cracked. It's embarrassing. I'll leave it in the video. I feel like I'm just going to be excited to go anywhere because of the beast. I'm driving out the way. <laughs> All right guys, let's talk about the title of this video because I just got out of the doctor's office where I got a testosterone test done, which is basically just a blood test that tells you your testosterone levels. I'm not sure if you know, but testosterone is the hormone in your body that is responsible for a lot of things, but one of them is building muscle mass. Like when a, when a bodybuilder takes anabolic steroids, the goal of that is to raise their testosterone levels so they can build more muscle mass. Now, the reason that I got the test done is because right now I'm 29 years old and your testosterone levels tend to peak when you're at 17 or 18 years old and then they slowly decline after that but once you get to 30 that's when they can start to rapidly decline and if that happens it's gonna be very hard for you to build muscle mass plus it's gonna kill your sex drive it's gonna make you feel tired all the time basically it's gonna suck now the confusing thing about testosterone is that there's a massive range of what's considered acceptable all the way from 250 up to a thousand nanograms per deciliter is what's acceptable so if you're anywhere in that range technically your testosterone levels are normal but based on my age the doctor said my levels should be somewhere in like the 500 to 800 range so if they come back significantly lower than that then i'm going to get on what's called testosterone replacement therapy and that's basically where they give you an injection or a pill or a patch to wear that increases your testosterone levels now guys it's not going to like make me a massive bodybuilder when a bodybuilder takes testosterone or any other steroid that raises their testosterone levels it's gonna take their testosterone levels not just to like a thousand the upper level of the normal limit it's gonna probably take them to like 2,000 3,000 if they give me TRT which is testosterone replacement therapy like the legal way to diagnose and treat low testosterone in the States it's probably just gonna get me back up to that normal range, maybe 600 or 700. And guys, even if I do not have low testosterone today, I'm gonna continue to get my levels tested every two years now, because if and when they start to drop, at that point I am gonna get on testosterone replacement, because being able to improve my body and have good sex, those are like super important things to me. So, I hope all that makes sense. I will say that I do not recommend that any of you guys ever take anabolic steroids unless it's your ultimate dream to step on a bodybuilding stage at the highest competition otherwise it's not even close to worth the side effects that being said I do recommend that once you get to about age 30 that every few years you go and get your T levels tested that way you'll be aware if and when they start to drop plus the test only cost me like 20 bucks with my insurance today anyway I'll keep you guys posted probably in next Thursday's video with what my results are in case you're wondering. So I need to introduce you guys to my homie JJ. What's up y'all? Wait, hold up man. You know, I need to make sure that my baby is all safe and locked up. Every time, man, every time. Also, guys, JJ rolled up to my apartment tonight, and I was like, are you serious, bro? Like, he's trying to show me up with his outfit. He's just looking so fly. Tell us about the outfit. Well, I got the Yeezys on, turtle dove, got the ripped jeans, the jacket, you know? Gotta rep the home country. Those Yeezys are so fresh, but honestly, What's this t-shirt? This thing looks, this thing looks amazing. Hey, this is a new Edge t-shirt. Really nice, guys. Nice fabric, true to size, slim fits. Check it out. I gotta be honest with y'all. Thank you so much for the support launching Edge last week. The launch, like we sold out. It did way better than I could have ever expected. And it is all thanks to you, bro. So thank you again for that. I got a lot 
more coming soon for Edge, so stay tuned. Bro, you ready to get some games in? Let's go. So we're at this spot called North Italia for dinner. It's Italian food. The funny thing is, I love Italian food, but like, I never think to get it. You guys have probably never seen me eat Italian food. I don't know why that is. All right, so JJ ordered this. What is this, bro? So this is, it's called bruschetta. It's, uh, it's bread, asparagus, prosciutto, and Parmesan cheese. Really good, man. I give that a solid 7.5 out of 10. All right, for the main meal, we got a chicken parmesan, and it looks amazing. This is a 9 out of 10, bro. I've actually had this before, so I knew it was a 9 out of 10, but it's still a 9 out of 10. That was pretty fucking delicious. JJ, can you give the people a tip? Here's a tip, guys. When you're on a date, Never take out your wallet or your phone and put it on the table right next to you or the bar. That's not classy. It's definitely not classy. Good tip, bro. Anyway, guys, I'm exhausted, so I'm gonna wrap the video up here. If you made it all the way to the end, I appreciate you, bro. Make sure you give it a thumbs up to show me some support. And if you have not subscribed yet, click subscribe because I release videos just like this every Monday and every Thursday, and you don't wanna miss them. I will talk to you in the next video. Stay beastly.